What's going on, you gamers? Today we're back with some more Diofield Chronicles. What I'm going to be showing you today is a nice easy way in which you can earn yourself some gold, also get yourself some XP, and grab up any items that you've missed. So if you want to know how to level and how to grab some gold nice and easy, then stay tuned. That's coming up next. Welcome back everybody, today we're going to be going over a little bit of hints and tips for Diofield Chronicles and how you can get yourself some gold nice and fast. Really worth knowing, especially if you want to get an item, say for example a new weapon or something shiny, a nice accessory, but you just don't quite have enough gold. Very early on in the game you're going to realise that actually completing the missions is by far and away the best. Just up at the top here is the standard place where you're going to go to complete your missions as you progress through the campaign. So you're going to make it to the battle table, you're going to take the missions here, and you're going to complete them one by one. However, when you're nearing the end of chapter one, you're going to unlock practice battles. These are ideal for grabbing gold, getting yourself levels, and just making your life a whole bunch easier. You can make yourself very overpowered with these, and it's well worth looking at. So rather than where we were, we're instead going to go over to this area just here and there's going to be another table just here which is going to be our practice battles table. You're going to click on this and from here any of the battles that you've already completed or any of the missions should I say, you're going to be able to play again. Chapter 1, here are all the ones we've done. You're going to be able to complete these missions whenever you want and you're going to be able to get any of the items you've missed and you're going to be able to get the gold as you can see up the top here every single time you complete them. Now another trick that you may want to take advantage of but you may not want to as it may make the game a little bit on the easy side if you really wanted to gear up and get over leveled then you could always bop it down to casual before or normal depending on what setting you're on in order to make the battles very fast and very easy as you can see here i actually missed one of them i couldn't complete this one right here within six minutes so if i wanted to get that reward again i'd go back in complete it i'd earn the gold straight away again you get the gold on every single instance and as long as you complete the certain criteria you're going to get whatever reward you missed so perfect for redoing these battles also, most times you'll be a little bit over geared or over leveled because you've been doing this, making them much, much faster. Don't do what I do here, you're going to want to chuck the speed all the way up to max so that you're getting around the map very fast and completing these missions as quick as possible. I'm showing you here this mission because I put it to casual just in order to get through it, but if you wanted to, even the very first mission, although it only gives you 500 gold at the start of the game, considering how fast you can actually complete it, I'd say probably about 30 seconds or so, you're going to be netting yourself 500 gold every 30 seconds to a minute, depending on how you're kitted out. As you can see here, we've put it to casual, you probably won't want to do this to be fair, I'm just giving you an example, makes the whole thing easy, you literally only have a couple of bars or one bar on the bosses rather than the two rather than the threes and fours and such, you're still going to get your levels up as long as the level of the mission isn't too low, so you're going to get yourself some nice XP and gold as you go. Right gamers, hopefully that's helped a few of you out. As always, for all things gaming, for all things Xbox. Take care. I'll see you on the next day.